What's up guys, Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks and I've got another OBS tutorial for you. This one is probably my favorite new feature in OBS 24.0. Now, if you're watching this video today, OBS 24 might not be available. Uh, I have the release candidate, but that's because I support the OBS um, project on Patreon and Open Collective and we get some inside information. I highly suggest if you use OBS, support the developers, over on Patreon. In this video, I'm gonna show you the brand new custom web browser docking feature that allows you to dock custom web browsers into your OBS interface, which is perfect for keeping an eye on the chat room and also working with all kinds of web-based automation. Today, I'll show you a PTZ camera controller from PTZ Optics. Let's take a look. Now, here's my OBS 24 interface. You can see in the, the top right here that it is OBS 24.0.0 RC1. That's release candidate one. There's a second release candidate coming out soon. And the feature I'm going to show you is in the view tab under docs. And if you've never been in this area, it's worth checking out because there's now the custom browser docs option. And you can reset your UI or lock your UI in here. I hadn't really spent a heck of a lot of time in here, but this kind of allows you to really start to customize your layout of OBS. So we can see here that we've opened up our custom browser docs area. And there's two sections of this. We can add a doc name, so a name for the doc, just for organization. And then we can put the URL of our doc. Now, for example, I'm gonna create one called YouTube and just show you how you could show like a YouTube um, chat room so you can keep an eye on it, for example. Um, so if we go to youtube.com and hit apply, that creates a custom doc there. Let me zoom out so you can see that a little better. Now, when you're doing a custom uh, doc like this, you can drop it into all the different dockable areas. And you might actually have multiple docks in a single area where you can actually have multiple tabs. So you can have a ton of content nested inside of your OBS space. And I highly suggest um, check, taking a look at doing, uh, you know, integrating maybe your chat room so you can keep an eye on it as the broadcaster. Let's see if we can find a live stream. So here's a live stream here. All right, let's go ahead. This is a little tip for you guys. You can go into the chat room and you can actually pop out the chat. Now, so if you wanted to have your chat room here, this is how this is the address that I would use there, right there, and you pop that in as your doc. Or you can, you can do it like this as well. So you can just keep an eye on your chat room. Now, another really cool feature and something that we're doing here is we have the ability to control PTZ cameras using web browser docs. Check out our video on that. Uh, we have some really cool uh, PTZ controllers here as well that you guys can check out. But essentially, you have the ability, anything with a web browser, a link to our video that shows the PTZ camera docs as well, can be put into here and uh, you can easily click and remove them in this docking feature. So the world is your oyster. There's so many ways to use this feature. You could be using it with Twitch elements. You could be using it with, uh, sorry, stream elements, all kinds of web-based control that's out there. You guys know how to use it. I just wanted to show it to you in the number 24. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. You don't become a video production expert overnight. I should mention that we have a Facebook user group for OBS users. Check that out. I'll link to it below. That's it, guys. See you on the next one.